What's good, my fellow introverts? Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Mina here back with another commentary video. Guys, I'm here with another episode of Attack on Titan. Last episode, we saw Aaron pull up and <laughs> he called for Rhino. And can we just talk about the naivety of Falcon, Falco, or whatever his name is? The way he led Rhino into this dark, spooky kind of looking environment it's like dude really and Raina just goes but i guess Raina wouldn't be scared he's in his own his hometown he's on his turf he like who 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 would mess with me right he's a hero to his people the eldians there and the marlians accept him as one of them i guess so it wasn't like yeah he wasn't scared but um i guess this is why Falco is so naive. He doesn't think, you know, someone like Aaron will be able to pull up. I don't know. But it just gave me, you know, giving candy out to kids kind of vibe. And Falco kind of followed and like, yeah, sir, I will take the candy. <laughs> it was a really cool episode. And really, I have nothing much to say about it other than I'm ready for everything to happen to go down. There was a lot to give this speech, I think, at the festival whatever i just i'm ready i'm ready so i don't even want to talk anymore guys this is episode 64 declaration of war oh we ready i keep having this dream where you get smoked where i see that guy from the mountains oh. who hung himself oh we're back he must have been we're back in to do it. brandon's flashback so why did he tell us his story first he was probably hoping that we'd forgive him but after the way we abandoned Marcel, we were in no position to. Who the hell is Marcel? I don't know if it was forgiveness he was after. I couldn't really tell you why, but I think he just wanted to be judged. Evening. It's been four years, Rhino. Uh, uh, yeah. What's wrong? Mr. Kruger it's kind of naive you behavior. I want to surprise you. It's true, right? You two were friends? Yeah, and we have a whole lot to catch up Ooh. on. Oh, fair. Start. Yeah. Smoke. <laughs> oh, God, this is exciting. He said, pull up, skirt, skirt. <laughs> oh, God. What is going to happen? What is the plan? Is he there by himself? What is happening? Lord Tiber, it's almost time. Thank you. Lady Azuma Vito, come to give me a pep talk. I'm sorry to interrupt your preparations. I just wanted to see your face. It must be a haunting sight. I seem to have a bad... This is a nice lady. You are a truly brave man. My family knows that well. I'll wish you luck and take my leave. I'm glad you came by. Thanks, Kiyomi. Sit down, Reina. Yeah, sit your ass on the chair, bitch. Found us good seats. Ooh. You can hear everything that happens on stage. Ooh. We're right beneath an apartment building. Ooh. It's behind the stage, but still. Ooh. It's full of excited families waiting at their windows for the curtains to rise. Yeah. It, am I evil? <laughs> I'm like, yeah. Smoke all of them. Murder all those people. All those <laughs> It's like, it's the greatest revenge, but it's so messed up. It's like the... You know, they were his family and his people were just going about their business the ordinary day when the Colossal Titan and the Iron Titan roll up and just, you know, murdered everyone, you know, killed them all, destroyed home for what? What reason? Just did that. And like, you know, you know. <laughs> so. Say, Mr. Kruger. Oh, you're bleeding. Did you cut your hand? Ooh. Yeah, it's just a scratch. Rhina. Oh, it was a threat. Okay, I respect it. So, uh, I think I should head back to the others now. You no, think no. Falco. Don't leave. You should stay here and listen to us. I'm sorry, but you're collateral. <laughs> Do as he says, all right? Okay. You for sure not inheriting the Titan after this. You want to think you're a traitor. Hello. It's been quite a while. Mr. Leonhardt. Hello. <laughs> Why did she say it like that? Hello. 
Speaking of which, I hear Mr. Hoover died in his sleep, I believe. He always used to speak of how proud he was of his son's courage. How he gave his all for Marley. I'm sure that Annie was just as She's brave. not dead. No, oh, Annie's father? Oh. One day she'll come back. She promised me she would. All right. To think we're about to declare war on what's left of Eldia from the Eldian internment zone. Ooh, yeah? It kind of feels like we're the center of the world, doesn't it? The Tibers did this? Can't believe they're this powerful. Fun yet? Even though they're just as Eldian as we are. So the Tibers are Eldian, but they, they're light. Falco and Mr. Brown haven't come back yet. Commander Magat sent me. He needs his Eldian warriors. Is that Mikasa? Because, I don't know. That was weird. I don't know. No, I just believe everyone is in disguise. Um, the the tal the Talbor leader because he's blonde. I was like, maybe it's Armin. <laughs> what the heck? Yeah, fair. That's right. <laughs> Why, Aaron? Why come here? Oh, same reason you did. Come on. The exact same thing you did. Oh, right, I right. As for why, that's the same too. I don't have a choice. That's why. Oh, said yeah. You made me do it. Sounds like the show's begun. Oh, we should listen. Oh, let's pull back the veil of time. The world, through the might of its titans. They got background music, <laughs> like literally. Count still wouldn't match the number of lives the titans have stolen. Such is the legacy of the founder, Ymir. So much has been lost. Not the play. Countless people and cultures wiped out. Histories crushed underfoot with their pride. Eldia's history is all we have left. He's so dead-eyed. You see. I mean, you guys did this. Y'all wanted smoke. They began to fight amongst themselves, vying for power. Thus began the Great Titan War. And the Empire grew weak. Then, Helos joined hands with the Tiber family, and they forced the supposedly unbeatable King Fritz to retreat to a far-flung island. That said, he fled with his powers intact. With him, he took tens of millions of Titans, ready to trample the world at his command. It's believed that our world continues to exist unbroken for one reason alone. Chance. Nigga, okay. It's clear now. The ancient engine of cruelty called the Eldian Empire is alive and well today. Honestly, it makes sense. I get why you plunged my home into hell. Nigga, no. On a mission to save I don't think you. Right. I don't even think you. So you had to. My orders are to send you to the gate, Jaeger. All right. This way, you two. That's someone. Oh, is that Armin? I feel like I've seen you before, but I can't quite place you. Where are you stationed? Who My unit's this? out west near your Who is this? Why are they so tall? First of all, it, it gives Mikasa, but this one is blonde, and I don't I don't know. And Armin's voice isn't that pitched like that. Who could that be? Who is that? I'm not interested in chatting with an Eldian, even if you are a warrior. Oh! Well, isn't that a shame? I'd started to take a real liking to your beard. Oh! Peek! <laughs> Oh, it's the Panzer unit. Thanks for all your hard work, guys. <laughs> what was that? What? Those soldiers ride the car Titan into battle. I need their support. So I tried to- She knows. Shit. Shit, I thought it wasn't gonna happen. So where's Commander McGath? Porco! <laughs> Who is this? Is this Mikasa? What's going on here? Why does Vice Chief Brown seem so afraid? I'm going down, guys. But, but smoke. That's what. Old friends. Oh. Just how many years has he known him? If it's more than four, then they met on Paradis. It can't be. Oh no. Yeah. Yeah. But what sides? If we live, I guess. <laughs> I know this because the Warhammer isn't the only inheritance the Tiber family bestows. We've passed down memories as well. 
The savior who ended the fighting, the hero who saved the world, was King Fritz himself. He'd grown weary of watching families and countrymen torn apart. Holy shit, is he part of the rebellion? Because I would love that shit. I would love that. So when he inherited the founding titan, he plotted his own downfall with the Tibers. Together, we created a Marleyan hero who would drive the king out, and the titans with the power to crush the world remained dormant. Marley didn't stop Eldia, and chance hasn't kept the world from being crushed. It was the king of the walls, Karl Fritz, a man who yearned for peace. Shots. He said that if Marley grew strong someday, and came in force to shatter his peace and seize the founding titan, he would accept it. He believed the sins his people committed were so horrific that they could never be atoned for. When the day of retribution finally comes, I will accept it. But until then, let me enjoy this walled paradise free from strife. I ask for nothing but a brief span of peace. Those were the final words the king left us with. Damn. When it's told like that, it's like... Damn. <laughs> it's like, yeah. Oh, damn. It's sad. That means parody doesn't actually pose a threat, right? Oh, it's not? True. To secure our own safety, my family joined hands with King Fritz. We became heroes to the world. The hell is this place? Looks like a pit meant to detain warriors like us. It's a classic. The space is too cramped to transform in. And with two of us down here... Mm, got it. We just crush each other. I'm still confused, though. What's that soldier's plan? Couldn't tell you. They really were familiar, though. I know that much. Can you tell me what it is? Is he part of the rebellion? Watch. This is my atonement. What? I think he's part of it. Okay, oh my god, oh my god. Counted together, the walls surely contain tens of millions of colossal titans. The king has been deposed, the founding titan stolen. The thief is an enemy to every man, woman, and child outside. Oh, this is Aaron? An enemy of peace. His name is Aaron Yeager. Oh, Aaron said I'm gonna be the villain. After what you said, I respected you, but you were just using me. Yeah, I was. I'm sorry. I can't say the letters made it to my family, but they reached my comrades. <laughs> I, I didn't know. Wait. Don't follow. You wrote your comrades? Oh, who here? Who here? Oh! Death will follow. Until now, will. only royalty has had the power to wield the founding titan, and King Fritz's vow has kept his descendants from using it. But this Aaron Jaeger has found a way to use the Founder without having royal blood. Which means he could begin the rumbling at any moment. Like now. They will literally flatten our world. He's exactly right. I'm the bad guy Willie says I am. If nobody stops me, there's a chance that I'll destroy your whole world. This you look like the bad guys too. And that day... Tell me why my mom was eaten by a titan. It's because we broke the wall that was protecting her. Why did you break the wall? So we could use the chaos to sneak in and to find out if the king would react. But what was your mission? To save the world by taking the founder. I remember what you said. You promised we'd pay for what we did, and you promised pain. <laughs> so are you here to make me pay? Yeah, I did say that, didn't I? <laughs> Let's forget about that. At first, I considered every person on this side of the sea an enemy. But later, I crossed the sea and slept under my enemy's roof. Reiner, I'm the same as you. Some of these people are awful, but some are good. <laughs> Same where I'm from. Inside the walls, we're all just people. But you were taught that the people in the walls weren't like you. That we were demons. You were just kids who got brainwashed. Hatred was part of your training. As young as you were, 
How could you have fought that? Sad. When the Titan got Marcel, Annie and Bertold wanted to end the mission right then. And they would have. I convinced them to keep going. Not just to save my own skin, but... Because I wanted to become a hero. The truth is, your mother was eaten by a Titan because of me! The people gathered here may belong to different races, different nations. But if we're to survive this crisis, then for the first time in history, we must join as one. I mean, this is a good speech. If we work together, we can overcome any obstacle, any- Why are y'all crying? Help me defeat them! I think maybe we were born this way. What's going to happen? ...of Marley's government, I send this message to the devil to parody! Oh, sending messages now, bitch? Forward. Huh. Till I killed my enemies. <laughs> Consider this a declaration of war! A declaration of war indeed. I mean that's that's a solid entrance. Oh Yeah, he's gone. I mean he like he said what he needed to say. Now it's time for you to go. He told the truth. Well most the truth. I can kind of say air quotes on it. It was the truth. And you served your purpose. No. That episode was so exciting, guys. It was unbelievable. <laughs> It's so intense. It's what I've been waiting for since the season began. <laughs> and not that I don't appreciate the quiet moments where they make us feel a little conflicted about, um, you know, squashing a, a whole society. But like, you know, I was ready for this. <laughs> it's it's kind of sad though. The, the story of the, not only the king and his need for peace, it's just, he was like, he and his people did a horrible thing, but I'm going to escape now. <laughs> and I'm going to live behind these walls in paradise and I'm going to enjoy myself. And I'll be ready whenever you come for me, I'll be ready, willing to die. You know, maybe, it happened later on, like obviously generations later, but he's uphold the, the fact that no, I whoever comes after me will pay the price. This is the price we'll pay for our this peaceful life we're living. So it's kind of really just a sad story all around. And I wouldn't say honorable, but you know, it's, it's, so, it's more sad for the people that don't even know why they have to die. You know, they're just being hurt and murdered and killed and stuff like that. So it's like, damn, at least tell the niggas what we did. Raise them like how the Marlians raise the aliens in their society. Know that one day, but you know, I guess there would eventually be an uprising like the who wants to die, right? So it wouldn't, it wouldn't have really made sense. Because if all it would take is one person to be like, come up from all the, the brainwashing, like, you know, one day we have to die. This is our cross to bear. What if I don't want to die? Just that one thought. What if I don't want to die? What if, what, what can I do to prevent that? That that little thought could ruin all the brainwashing. Like, yeah. So it makes sense that why he didn't raise up the his community like his people did. Um, the others did across the sea the, he, and he wanted people to just be happy you know being happiness before you you die you're going to die so it's like yeah so it makes sense finally why he didn't say anything it was really annoying how he didn't how the the, the people the leaders were using the, everyone and stuff like that but it's it was um it was all for this it was all to prevent war the guy was like enough of this we caused a lot of pain and now we're here. Unfortunately, we had to leave some of y'all behind, but it's, you know, life. <laughs> and now we're here. And though we had to suffer Titans, it was due to our own making. And, but we have, we had peace. We had happiness, we had prosperity. And yeah, now it's gone. And then the the situation with Erin being Raina, I, I'm not mad at it. It's the perfect revenge. It's war. It's 
war you know you look at war and see something very nasty obviously because no one likes war i don't think anyone would like war other than you know power hungry madmen or madmen in general or desperate men desperate people that want to survive so it's really cool it's just a big survival story for everyone in a way you know they just want to live happily that's that's it and yeah they want to smoke with parody they got it they they got it <laughs> but this was such an interesting episode i enjoyed it so much guys thanks for watching if you made it this far please like subscribe comment let me know what you guys think down in the description box below there's links to my what pat stories guys check those out there's also links to my website my book recommendation website where you could find book recommendations along with fun reviews there's also the demand store where you can shop cool bookworm apparel and items um as well as the amazon hub where you find amazon's latest deals so guys check that out make sure you subscribe become a subscriber and stay up to date and yeah guys until next time